children with cleft lips urged to take advantage of free cleft surgery. Fathers urged to maintain roles as head of families. President Tinubu appoints new service chiefs. Sterilization law in Japan included nine-year-olds. Before the news in details, there is a special message. Governor Choko Masaludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Good morning and welcome to the news. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Now, a two-year-old Master Peter Anthony has successfully undergone cleft lip surgery to become the first beneficiary of the ongoing free cleft lip and palate treatment in Anambra State. The child who had a right cleft lip and bilateral cleft palate was operated upon last Saturday at Denma Hospital, Newe, one of the affiliated medical facilities that offer treatment to cleft patients. The ongoing free cleft and pallet treatment is an initiative between Smile Train, a non-governmental charity body, and the wife of the governor of Anambra State, Mrs. Nonye Suludo, Master Peter Anthony, whose parents are from Utuba in Benue State, but reside in Anambra State, is the first child to benefit from the ongoing exercise and will receive round of surgeries to fix his pallet when the current one heals up. Speaking on the development, the wife of the governor of Anambra State, Mrs. Suludo, expressed satisfaction that the partnership with Smile Train is bearing fruits, reassuring that no child in the state living with cleft deformity will be left behind the program. Dr. Suludo, who noted that she is looking forward to seeing other children who have similar issues treated, called for more awareness about the program, especially in the rural areas. On his part, the Anambra State Director of Smile Train, Professor Titus Chukwanuku, who performed the surgery, said that the Shao's family came after hearing about the exercise from the governor's wife. Noting with the lip successfully fixed, surgery on the palate will be done on a later date. Parents of the child, Mr. Isaiah Anthony and Mrs. Queen Anthony, spoke about how the family had suffered searching for a solution to the problem which came from birth and described the opportunity to see their child treated as one that will never be forgotten. They thanked Mrs. Soludo and Smile Train for the initiative and pledged to join in the advocacy. I thank you very much. I think that's for me. I don't think about this. I thank you very much. They didn't get it upon it from the to my stomach. When you, you when you bother me, you get yes, that. He gets it. They, they you pay any money at, at all about this thing. No. I'm not paying pay anything. I thank them very much. I thank me, I thank them very much. I've been suffering with this thing for two years. But God made the work for me. God made the I want to tell her, thank you. And God made the water for me. Yes, if I see people that have this kind of thing, any place, I'll try to inform you to know that the wife of governor, she's trying much about children about this. Remember that parents and families that have children with cleft lips or palates or anyone that knows a child with such problem can refer them to Chukwemeka or the Megujuku University Teaching Hospital, Amakuoka, or to the nearest public health facility where they will be immediately taken for free treatment. Anyone that wishes to bring information about a person with the problem or issues relating to treatment should call 090-6322-7856 0813417-7577 for quick attention. Anambra State Deputy Governor Dr. Nyeka Chuku Ibezim has asked fathers to wake to their responsibilities in their various families as the head of the house for a better society. 
The deputy governor made the call during his special Sunday service, marking this year's Father's Day at the Church of the Holy Spirit Anglican Church, Paul University, Oka. A government house correspondent, Emmanuel Okonkwo, tells us more. Deputy Governor Bezink who observed that a lot of fathers no longer play their role as the head of the families as done by fathers of the old attributed most of the ills in today's society to lack of commitment and faithfulness of fathers towards their family responsibilities. Restating the commitment of the present government of Professor Chukwu Masoludo towards rebuilding all sectors of the state's economy and ensuring protection of life and property of the citizenry, Dr. Ibezim called on the Anambra to unflinchingly support the Soludo government for a better Anambra. I'm encouraging everybody. Like a man, now I'm not going to be all the blood buried for the market. Now, any let me tell you today. Myself, worshipping as a deputy governor here, and the Archbishop also coming on a day like this. Coming on a day like this. Because in the Holy Spirit is moving in us. All our families are in the road together. Let me get along. They say the family that pray together do what? How they make it along? The man who is going to be one. We are living in the religious time. Earlier in a remark, the Archbishop, Ecclesiastical Province of the Niger, and Bishop of Oka Diocese, Right Reverend Alexander Bezim, reminded fathers that there is hope for them and that God will come through for them in the numerous challenges confronting them in their families, even as he encouraged them to draw closer to God in order to reap the blessings in serving the Almighty God. Uh, we are particularly grateful to God for giving us the strength and the patience and the endurance to survive because life is a gift from God. So this year is a very remarkable year. I want the fathers to be courageous. This is a time that many men are losing hope. Some don't even believe that God can answer prayers. But this is a time of courage. You that is failing in your strength know that God is putting courage inside of you. In a sermon, a guest preacher at the event, Venerable Onyeka Egwongo, urged fathers to always strive to attract God's blessings and favor to their families instead of curses and pains, and encouraged wives to always support their husbands to enable them perform their roles in the families creditably. Bring the channel of blessings. Bring blessings. Men, bring our blessings into your family and that is the greatest love that is the greatest legacy you will give for your family not all but not only you want some of the fathers that spoke to the ABS at the occasion, including the chairman of 2023 Church of the Holy Spirit's Father's Day and chairman Anambra State Nigeria Union of Journalists, Dr. Dogwemeka Odogu, and the chairman Men's Fellowship Church of the Holy Spirit, Dr. Raymond Ofo, described fathers as pillars of the home and observed that the society would be a better abode if fathers will learn to play their roles perfectly as expected of them. The service featured special rendition by the fathers of the church and special prayers for fathers by Archbishop Ibezim. From Church of Holy Spirit in Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo reporting for ABS News. The Anambra State Local Government Service Commission has concluded the verification and biometric physical capturing of staff in the United States unified 21 local government councils of Anambra State. The exercise, which lasted for seven weeks, had over 4,000 staff in the unified Anambra Local Government Service Commission physically verified and biometrically captured. The chairman, Anambra State Local Government Service Commission, Barrister Vin Ezaka, expressed satisfaction with the exercise so far and charged the officers handling the exercise to commence immediate staff certificate and career progression verification from officers on grade level 15 and below. 
Barista Ezaka explained that the objective of the verification and biometric capture exercise was to ascertain firsthand the numerical strength of staff in the local government system and also for proper placement of staff based on merit in line with the statutory functions of Anambra State Local Government Service Commission. He charged workers to shun truancy and dedicate themselves seriously to their chosen career and reiterated his vision to transform Anambra local government system into a productive sector of the economy while advising workers to reciprocate the gesture by being punctual and exhibit due diligence in the discharge of their duties. An Orumba South Council Hall and an ultra modern canteen reconstructed and renovated by the Transition Committee Chairman Prince Neville Uchendo have been unveiled at the unveiling of the building at the Council Secretariat Omunze. Many Abga stalwarts who defected to other political parties were welcomed back to Abga in a grand style. Our correspondent Joseph Ebocha completes the report. In his remark, a former deputy governor of the state, Chief Emeka Sebodo, said the events represented trust and commitment required to support good works of the Soluda administration and expressed happiness that Urumba is part and parcel of the Soluda administration and thanked Prince Ushendo for improving infrastructure on ground. <laughs> Charge yourself and tell yourself, I want to be the last man standing in Africa. Speaking before the unveiling proper, the State Commissioner for Local Government and Community Affairs, Honorable Tony Collins Mwabunwane, who promised to renovate the administrative block of the Council Secretariat in less than two months, explained that the Soluda administration has declared war on the lapidated infrastructure in the state, adding that in two years in office, it would have outperformed previous administrations. If I teach they are there that the 21 local government acts. We are not leaving anyone behind. If I know we turn you with the deadline and I can collect that number if they mess, what you did in the last one year you will just more or less scratch. By the time we're two years in office, even the past administration, I have for as well in mind. Welcoming the returnees, APGA State Chairman Barista Ifatu Biokoye, who assured that all APGA members will be given equal and better opportunity in the party in order to give Governor Soludo the needed support to succeed and APGA the strength to expand, also remarked that rebranding the party along the vision of Governor Soludo requires discipline. The member representing Urumba South constituency in the State Assembly, Honorable Emawafo, and an APGA chieftain in the area, Chief Ogechuku Nduche, said with good people as transition committee chairman and support of party members, Governor Soludo's vision in governance will be easily achieved. For Urumba South local government APGA chairman, Honorable Chiken Wafo, and Mr. Sam Ogwabaka, on behalf of President Generals in Urumba South, thanked Governor Soludo for the ongoing Ufuma Awa Ndiukwenu Amansi Road project that makes it easier to connect to Oka. On his part, Prince Ushendo, who explained that the two projects executed by his administration at the council received tremendous assistance and full support of Governor Soludo through the Ministry of Local Government and Community Affairs also thank the governor for all the road projects and agricultural revolution in Urumba South Council area. You give back to the society that made you. I'm a brother of Urumba South. I've traveled by Rama, and I've seen things, seen how government and how the system works. I want to import the same thing to Urumba South, leading by example. Now leadership, leadership by example is what Prophet Thomas is teaching us. From Umunze in Urumba South local government area, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. Audition for Anambra Shine the Light reality TV show has begun at the Anambra Broadcasting Service ABS Oka with large turnout of Anambra youths who are ready to showcase themselves to the world. The show sponsored by ABS and Albert al Kebulan production is designed to help showcase the talents of Anambra youths, groom the participants during the period of the event, and for winners of the show. Our correspondent Emmanuel Chibata has the report.
The contestants were auditioned in acting, singing, dancing, comedy, among others. Speaking, the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, Sashido Obidegu, represented by head of programs, Mrs. Neka Ekunife, said the event will help to create opportunities for talent development and growth for Anambra youths through exposure and learning. Sashido said the program idea was to bring culture and entertainment devoid of obscenity to the doorstep of Nyanambra and to discover new talents. The idea to bring entertainment to Nyanambra and we thought of uh, what can we give to Nyanambra at a time like this and we thought about uh, this reality TV show. We are discovering new talents. According to the director, Aoke Bulan Production, Mrs. Chinyere Ozo Okoma, it is a youth-oriented and entertainment program where youths are to showcase their talents and culture. She regretted that many youths are not abreast with their culture. Hence, the program will put it to halt while also urging the contestants to be creative and unique in order to win the cash prize worth 20 million naira. Mrs. Ozo Okoma revealed that the contestants are brought from the 179 communities in the state and 21 will be selected to represent the 21 local government areas. Some of the contestants, Ms. Eve Obodo from Ibaku and Mr. Charles Ijoma from Oka, thanked the organizers for the opportunity to be part of the show with optimism to emerge winner. This is one of the biggest projects in Anambra State, and I'm happy to be part of this project because I'm from this state. So I am overwhelmed with joy because I came out with a and I have too much in store for you, people. And I want to tell you that I will be more better and give you guys all that you actually needed to shine. Inoka, Emmanuel Chibata for ABS News. All right, that's uh, the reality TV show. The auditioning continues today. Now, away from state stories, President Bola Tinubu has carried out a major shakeup of the nation's security architecture with the immediate retirement of all the service chiefs and the Inspector General of Police, uh, Usman Baba. Also affected are special advisors and the Controller General of the Nigeria Customs Service, according to a statement by the Director of Information Office of the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, Willie Bassi, a former theatre commander operation, Hadin Kai, Major General Christopher Musa, has replaced General Loki Irabo, as the Chief of Defense Staff. Similarly, Major General Taurid Labaja is now the Chief of Army Staff. He replaced Lieutenant General Farouk Yahaya. Air Vice Marshal H.B. Abubakar was appointed as the Chief of Air Staff in place of Air Marshal Uludayo Amau. And Rear Admiral E.A. Ogala will take over from Vice Admiral Awal Gambo as the Chief of Naval Staff. Now, two nine year olds were among the 25,000 people forcibly sterilized in Japan under its post World War II eugenics law, a parliament report has revealed. The law in place for 48 years forced people to undergo operations to prevent themselves having children deemed inferior. Many of them had physical or cognitive disabilities or mental illness. The law is widely recognized as a dark chapter in Japan's post-war recovery and was repealed in 1996. Now on sports news, the former second-ranked women's tennis player, Annette Contavit, announced that she would be retiring in July after Wimbledon because of a back injury. Contavit, ranked 79th in the world, reached the Women's Tennis Association number two ranking in June 2022. Her best performance in a Grand Slam event was a quarterfinal at the 2020 Australian Open. 
Contavate made her debut in the main draw at the WTA Tour event in Miami in 2013. She won six tournaments, including four in 2021. And with that sports news, we conclude the news. But just before we go, remember you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service, on Twitter at ABS Radio TV, and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And the main news again, children have been urged to take advantage of free cleft surgery. Fathers have been urged to maintain roles as head of families. President Tinubu has appointed new service chiefs. And sterilization law in Japan included nine-year-olds. Governor Choko Masaludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. We continue to give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the news. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Nonye Wokoye. Good morning and have a wonderful day.